to another video cast on Kubernetes and OpenShift. This time we are going to talk about Istio. Istio is a uh, microservice management implementation uh, which is native to Kubernetes, uh, recently released by collaboration between IBM, Google, and then uh, uh, Lyft, um, and also Red Hat is, I believe Red Hat is also participating in this. Um, with that, uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to install Istio and then deploy a sample application and see how we can uh, look at the service mesh and uh, very basic part pieces. With that, let's get started. Um, I have my example listed on Debian master slash OpenShift examples on GitHub. If you go to Istio uh, folder in this, we have all the steps listed here. Uh, but for now i'm gonna show it on the on my laptop so i've already cloned that repo All right and then sorry um open shift examples and then istio what i have a previous uh, installation i'm gonna remove get rid of it now this is my sample script for demo I'm going to use this. So for this, uh, you need to have some OpenShift installation or Kubernetes installation. In this demo, demo I'm going to cover OpenShift part of it. Um, I'll try to see if I can do it for the Kubernetes as well. But the, the step should be uh, somewhat similar if you do it on Kubernetes. Um, so with that, uh, let's get started. Um, I have a running OpenShift cluster on a machine. Um, I use the open uh, I use the OC cluster app, which is like a uh, if you want to run OpenShift on on your laptop, uh, that's the tool you can use. Um, I'm going to log in into this, so um, my OpenShift cluster is running. Let's get started with the dem uh, installation of Istio and then deploying a sample app. Right. So we need to log in as a cluster administrator first uh, because we need to give a bunch of permissions. I've logged in as cluster administrator. Now I'm switching to default namespace, uh, but this can be any OpenShift namespace. And then I need to give a bunch of uh, permissions to the uh, service accounts and the service accounts that are created by Istio. Um, so keep in mind that we may need, we may not need all the full blown permissions that I'm giving in in this current demo. Um, maybe in future I will try to dig more and then give fine grain controls. Uh, but for now, I'm giving like privileged controllers, pri privileged access, and then cluster admin privileges uh, most of the times, and just to keep it easy. Uh, but I'll try to get the exact permissions in future. Uh, so, OpenShift when you run when it runs parts, um, it uses a service account called as default, and this and the whatever permissions that you provide for these service accounts will be applied to the running part itself. So. Oh, some of the containers or some of the um, parts need uh, to run with any uh, user ID. So I'm giving uh, any UID permission. That means it can even run with root user ID. Now, by default, OpenShift will reject this. Um, but if you provide this permission, then it would allow it. I also need to give privileged uh, uh, access to the container. So that's why I'm giving privileged uh, access. And also need a uh, net admin uh, capability uh, for the running container. So I'm going to give for the privileged FCC, I'm going to give net admin uh, capability. And then let's go and install uh, Istio service mesh. Uh, for that, I'm going to clone the upstream uh, GitHub Istio uh, repo. And then we need to apply some bunch of policies uh, permissions again. Uh, Istio creates a service account called uh, Istio manager service account and another service account called uh, Istio ingress service account. So these two service accounts are will be created in future, but before they get created, I'm going to give cluster admin privileges to them. Um, like I said, you may not need like full blown cluster admin. Uh, I'll try to get the exact ones, but for now I'm giving like wide open permissions. And also the also to the default service account, right? And then um, 
we are going to give uh, any UID cell uh, so SEC uh, uh, to the ingress service account as well and privileged uh, uh, access as well okay just in case I'm giving for manager service as well um, I need to dig in more whether it is needed or not same thing um, any UID and privilege okay yeah these are bunch bunch of permissions and after that we can install STO with just one single command um, this is OC apply and then point it to the STO YAML in the Kubernetes uh, folder that creates a bunch of uh, things uh, so it creates uh, Istio mixer manager and also the ingress and uh, egress uh, services on default namespace let's go and take a look if they got created uh, for that I need to log in to the OpenShift as a <coughs> privileged user so that I can look at the default namespace I have a small script which makes my current logged in user as uh, Cluster admin, so I'm in the default namespace now. So you can see uh, I have uh, my Istio ingress uh, manager, mixer, uh, all of egress, and everything is running uh, pretty quickly because these images are already downloaded, so they started pretty quickly. Um, if you want to see dig more and see if they are correctly started up, start started or not, you can go inside the log and then uh, look at whether they are started correctly or not okay they seems to be working fine now uh, let's go and uh, deploy some add-ons uh, like Prometheus and then uh, Grafana and then the service mesh control that uh, the graph service that needs that is needed by um, uh, these are like bunch of add-ons that you need to uh, install uh, to be able to show uh, different capabilities of Istio. So you can see my service graph is also been deployed. So it's Grafana, Prometheus, and uh, service graph. All these three are optional but uh, needed for my demo. That's why I've installed them. And you can see they should be started up quickly. So service graph is up. You can ignore these uh, alerts. Prometheus is also up and uh, should have the other uh, bunch of services as well yeah, Grafana okay all right so once you're done let's go and deploy a book info app that is given by Istio uh, it deploys a bunch of services related to a book info service uh, maybe uh, to look at the details of the book and also ratings and reviews of the book and then a product page so these are all services are basically uh, part of this book info app and then uh, when you request for a product uh, it all product like book uh, it gives all the details and as well as ratings and reviews for that book so this is a typical microservice architecture and then what happens is uh, without developer having to create the glue code that, that stitches between uh, like the, the zipkins libraries that you use to basically typ typically needed for uh, creating the uh, calls between like to show the uh, flow of traffic between different microservices um, that typically has to be created by developer but in case of Istio all these are generated uh, without ha developer having to write that code so that that's the uh, uh, that that is I think a very big advantage uh, there are a bunch of other features uh, go check out uh, check it out on istio.io uh, but this is what this is big for me so um, these microservices are now deployed. Um, let's go and take a look. You can see the detailed microservices there, product page is there, ratings is there, uh, previous version one and version two, like bunch of versions of previous as well uh, got deployed, like all of these, okay? Now um, let's expose a service graph so that I can show you uh, calls between different microservices. When you hit the product page, uh, our calls made it in between all these microservices so these are built like when you make a call these this the istio looks at the traffic and then builds that graph okay so without you having to write any code now uh, 
I'm choosing Grafana pod to basically execute a um, curl command, but it can be from your laptop as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is execute a curl command on the Istio ingress service uh, to, to look for a product, okay? So it responded with uh, 200, that means we were able to um, fetch a product. Okay, that's not, that's not my use case. My, my use case is to see the current uh, uh, traffic flow. Um, so it looks like I'm able to fetch a product. Um, so when we have this, uh, when we send this traffic, we should also see uh, how, it, uh, uh, how the traffic flowed through uh, by going to the service, uh, by going to the service graph page. So for that, I have a little script that goes to service uh, graph page. And you can see this has been generated automatically uh, when you made it when you made this call okay so a call went to product page and product page uh, has made calls for the two details and reviews so with a simple setup we were able to actually um, get all this information uh, on the microservice part there are many bunch of other features like you can control you can throttle or uh, i guess uh, um, circuit breaking and uh, security, a lot of the features that are required by microservices, um, but this is one is like big for me. I'll make bunch of uh, calls um, before I want to show the some other features as well. So I'm going to show, I'm going to make bunch of other calls as well. All right, I just made like two or three calls. And then if I hit this, it shows me the uh, QPS and everything. Okay, so this is a very short example. Uh, if you want more, I'll try to put more examples and then more videos on Istio uh, in future. Uh, if you want me to follow me and then get latest updates, you can go to twitter.com and then slash Debian Master. Uh, you should see more examples in future. Thank you very much.